So it's very fast, very good looking, and surprisingly soft and comfortable. But there is a problem. It's 140,000 pounds, twice what a normal Carrera S costs. And they've only made 250 of them, and you can't buy one because they've all been sold. So let's move on to a Porsche you can buy. The new Boxster Spider. Porsche say this harks back to the lightweight models James Dean was driving in the 50s. But frankly, that's a bit of marketing cobblers. He was a rebel without an airbag. This does have an airbag, but that's about it. It's 80 kilograms lighter than the standard Boxster, thanks to aluminium doors, aluminium engine cover, super light wheels, and carbon fiber seats. There's more, or rather less. There is no standard aircon. The door handles have been replaced by these little bits of rag, and they've even ditched the piece of plastic that goes on top of the instruments. What Porsche do is they, they leave a lot of things that you should get on a Boxster on a shelf in the factory, and then they charge you more for not giving them to you. This car costs 46,000 pounds. That's 5,000 more than the standard car, and you get less in return. Or do you? The 3.4-litre flat six now has 320 horsepower, 10 more than the standard Boxsters. And because it's lighter, 0 to 60 is done in just five seconds. Top speed, 166. I've owned a standard Boxster S for the last four years, and I can promise you, this is better. It's revier, it's more eager, it's bloody excellent. <laughs> but all this stripped-back spider stuff does have its drawbacks. What if you're driving along with the roof down and suddenly it starts to rain? Exactly. What a remarkable coincidence. Oh, no, I need to erect the top tent. What you do is you open the boot. Then you take out this bit, which is called the sun shield. Then you get in the car, you attach it at the front first. Ah! Like that. And then, you get that bit behind you. Hang on. Then at the other end of the same wire, goes on this special clamp. And then these two bits clip onto there. Oh, shit. It was a nightmare. But I got it finished just as the rain stopped. <laughs> Top speed has now reduced from 166 to 126, because any faster than that, and the scout tent blows off. But frankly, I couldn't care less, because the way this car feels is so much more important than the top speed. This is a really happy car. It's full of vibrant energy and enthusiasm. It's a bit like one of those really stupid dogs. I bet if you threw a ball, it would chase after it. <laughs> And it's having a bit of an effect on me because, to be honest, I've started behaving a bit like the other two idiots. But the really amazing thing is, in a car as lithe and nimble as this, I can. I've said before that some cars give me a strange fizzing sensation inside, and this one really does. I'm fizzing massively here. I'm fizzing fit to burst. Nurse! That's actually a spin, but never mind. Never mind indeed. What Porsche has done is take one of the most practical everyday sports cars you can buy and turned it into a simple indulgence. And by making it simple, they've made it simply brilliant.
It'll be disappointing. It is a... It is a shame James isn't here, because I didn't agree with everything he said then. Yeah, it's a shame he's not here to stand up, but never mind, no. we'll, we'll carry on. We'll without carry on. We'll, do. Yeah, exactly. we'll talk about him. Start with this, the Sport Classic, which, I mean, it's a fabulous-looking thing. It's a oh, fabulous yeah. car, actually, but the price! What happened here, I think, is they started off with a price and then tried to justify it. No, I'm sorry, it is a pretty thing, that, but this is worse. Yeah, it this is. This really is worse. An umbrella, no door handles, honestly. So, uh, I guess, really, there's no point putting that round the track because you can't buy it. Uh, we'll just put this stupid thing round. Uh, I'll have to do the commentary, obviously. <laughs> uh, while it's driven by our tame racing driver. Some say there are 17 different reasons why he's banned from the Northampton branch of Little Chef. <laughs> and that his favourite airline pilot is Mark Webber. <laughs> Mine too, actually. All we know, of course, it's the Stig! Yeah. Oh, no, he's facing the wrong direction. Oh, no, of course, it's a monster. Both ends look exactly the same. Off now, very slowly, to the first corner. Just sort of driving through it, really, in a not very interesting way. Nothing interesting at all to report there. Stig still enjoying his new CD, Vuvuzela Moods. I should add that uh, this is made possible because Porsche has very kindly reinstalled the stereo. They normally charge you £5,000 to remove. OK, plodding through Hammerhead now in the manner of a car that only a complete idiot would like. Little known fact, this is also the noise Stig makes when he wants to attract a mate. Uh, Trudging through follow-through past some tyres. Wish I'd brought a magazine to read while waiting for this stupid thing to haul its way round. Not very interesting there. Sort of slidey there and across the thingy. Don't like it. Don't like it. I don't mind that. Twice. Don't like that. Well, I have the time here. Well, the box of spider and it did it in one minute 24.9, which actually isn't bad at all. That puts it right up there. No, I'm not interested in that at all. <laughs> so